Hello, and welcome to Discussions with the Director. My name is Celeste Overton-Morris, and I am the Chief Program Officer at the Central Susquehanna Intermediate Unit, and also serve as Director at the Center for Schools and Communities. These discussions give me the opportunity to share with you how our core values connect with our work here at the Center. Our core values include service to others, equity in action, passion for excellence, and innovation for growth. Each month, I sit down with a professional who exemplifies one or more of our core values. I hope you enjoy today's interview. Greetings and welcome to Discussions with the Director. Today is a special treat for me as we focus on our core values of passion for excellence and equity in action. Joining me today is Contrell Armour, Director of the Pennsylvania Statewide After School Youth Development Network, or PSADEN, which is housed here at the Center for Schools and Communities. And a very special guest, Tumi Ojo, Pennsylvania's member of the Million Girls Moonshot Flight Crew. Contrell, would you just start by telling us a little bit about the Million Girls Moonshot Flight Crew, what it is, and how is PSADEN connected to it? Yes, thank you, Celeste. Poseidon is happy to support the Million Girl Moonshot Flight Crew, which is a youth ambassador program championing access to STEM learning opportunities in the after school and summer learning spaces for underserved communities. Flight crew members who have been nominated by their particular states will learn critical skills in public speaking, social media, advocacy, and just overall leadership in their STEM journey and inspire thousands of girls around the country to pursue their STEM interests in the after-school space. Well, that really sounds like an exciting program and congratulations to you, Tumi, on being accepted as Pennsylvania's representative. So Tumi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became interested in STEM? Yeah, of course. Um, hello, my name is Tumi Ojo. I am a rising freshman at Villanova University. I am 18 years old and I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A little bit of how I got into the field of STEM is in the ninth grade, I was really curious of what I wanted to do for the rest of my life in terms of careers. And so I researched more into the fields of medicine because I had never ventured that field. And I saw that I was really interested in being a pediatrician. So that's where my love of STEM really began as I started to take more medical related prerequisites throughout high school. All right, thank you to me uh, for that answer. Uh, just to give a little bit of insight on what brought us here today, um, as the director of Pasadena, I'm really pleased and, and honored to uh, welcome to me to this space for her accomplishments in the STEM field. Um, the Million Girl Moonshot Flight Crew is a youth ambassador program uh, that highlights uh, students from across the country from underserved communities that are interested in the, in the STEM field. And out of all of the nominations that came through Pennsylvania, Toomey was the uh, award recipient um, that Poseidon and the flight crew were so happy uh, to sponsor and partner with in this journey. Uh, so my question for you, Tumi, here this morning is, what supports uh, did you have in your journey in STEM? And how did after-school programming support you in that effort? Yeah, of course. So I was able to join a drone flying program in my 11th grade year, as, as well as participate in it in my 12th grade year. And the program is initially for girls who want to learn how to fly drones and obtain their part 107 drone pilot pilots license, as it is a male dominated field. And through that program, I was able to find numerous other pro opportunities and programs in STEM in general, as well, first being the flight crew and being another program called the Mark Cuban Foundation AI boot camps, which I'm also a student ambassador for. So I'm just so grateful to have been a part of numerous STEM opportunities from that program alone. So I would say that the founder of the program has helped me through a lot of other um, application processes and just STEM opportunities. So I would say that is one of the st my support systems. And I'm just so grateful for after school programming in general because it really got me to a place where I am today to find 
such a such amazing opportunities like being in the flight crew going to San Diego to do networking and just meet some amazing individuals so I'm just so grateful that I took a step and um, pursued after school programming. Thank you for sharing that um, to me and you started to describe some of the experiences that you've had um, in the flight crew. So can you tell us about that experience in San Diego in particular and what was exciting about it? What did you learn? Yes, of course. So in the, in San Diego, um, it was a, about four day, five day, um, program where we were doing workshops, but also going to events where we were able to network and meet other people in the after school programming industry. So basically, um, I, I remember the first day being that Monday, we went to an event in the evening and we were able to meet the people in our um, after school programming. So I was able to meet Contrell that day. And it was really exciting because I had talked to him over email. So it was great to see him in person. And then the other days we did some more networking. Even on that Wednesday, we went to Calcom and we did a lot of um, workshops with other after school programming um, in industries and programs. And it was such a great opportunity. I met a lot of other girls who are just doing such impressive things in the field of STEM. And I just felt really inspired by them because they were all doing such amazing things. So um, overall, San Diego was a great experience and something I want to continue doing. Great, great. And thinking about that experience, as well as you mentioned, you were in Mark Cuban's AI camp. How um, will you use those experiences to, um, as you pursue your education at Villanova and give back to your community? Right. So um, with the Mark Cuban AI Bootcamps, it was an introductory course on AI, and I was able to be a student ambassador for it. So I definitely think I could take those leadership qualities over to Villanova and ha perhaps um, build up my resume so I can go to medical school fit, um, eventually and hopefully. Um, I also just think that it just gave me such great life skills like patience and just trying to learn something new because I don't really consider myself tech savvy. Um, so just being in the Mark Cuban AI boot camps alone just really showed me that like you have to be patient and um, if you wanna learn a skill and you can't be amazing at everything you start for the first time. So it was just such a great opportunity overall to be in that program. And um, I want to continue being in that program for a long time from now. Thank you. Those are certainly lessons we can all carry um, into our daily lives about being patient and willing to learn something new. So thank you for sharing that with me. Absolutely. And, and along that line of like patience and learning, um, what a great experience it was for the uh, 50 state networks to uh, share the space in San Diego with you, Tumi, and all of the other females there in the STEM field. Uh, we were the learners uh, during that conference, and we took away so much information from the small group sessions, from the panels, uh, as you mentioned, just meeting you in person, getting outside of that virtual space. So it was a great place to be in San Diego. Again, the flight crew members were there uh, to learn public speaking skills, uh, advocacy, social media, and just overall what leadership looks like um, outside of that kind of four walls of your regular day. Um, I said all that to kind of ask this question here because in some of those small group sessions, it was really interesting to hear the females talk about uh, some of the obstacles or challenges that they faced in their STEM journeys. So I would like to ask you, how would you encourage females who are interested in STEM but have uh, less access to the opportunities that were afforded to you? Yeah, so I would definitely say to the girls who are really apprehensive about joining a field of STEM is that at the end of the day, it is your life and you can't let others dictate what you want to do with your life. STEM is a really a great field, but we already know that it is male dominated. So regardless of that fact, I really think you should just persevere through all the challenges and just do what you want to do with your life because at the end of the day, you'll be regretting that you didn't because of what other people were saying. So I would just say like, don't let other people influence 
or control your life decisions. That's so powerful to me. And um, I absolutely wish you the very best in your endeavors. Can't wait to hear how your first year at Villanova goes and um, just the excitement around um, you being a doctor one day, which is a goal I have no doubts that you will reach. I want to thank both you and Contrell for being a part of discussions with the director and thank those of you who are watching today. And remember to visit our website and YouTube channel, which can be found at the bottom of the screen. In closing, I urge you all to support after school programs in your communities. Advocate for their importance, get involved, and help ensure the future generations have the same opportunities that have greatly impacted my life. Together, we can create a brighter future where every young person can pursue their dreams and make a difference in the world. Thank you. And whereas after school programs can provide holistic support of the whole child and their development of social and emotional competencies, such as problem solving, critical thinking, and interpersonal skills. Therefore, I, Josh Shapiro, Governor of Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, do hereby proclaim October 24th, 2024 to be Lights On After School Day in recognition of the invaluable role after school programs have in providing quality education and supporting working families. I encourage all Pennsylvanians to support the efforts of after school programs in the development of our Commonwealth's children.